The anime begins by introducing a girl named Hitori, who has no friends and is an introvert, which is why she is often called Bachi. Since elementary school, Bachi never played with others and was always accompanied by her teacher on field trips. In middle school, it was the same. The only people who contacted Bachi were her family members. One day, when Bachi was watching television, she saw a band where the guitarist used to be an introvert like her. Inspired by this, Bachi decided to borrow her father's guitar and diligently practiced to become like the guitarist in that band. Three years later, Bachi was now in high school, where she declared that she would make an impressive appearance in her high school days. However, despite being in high school for a month, Bachi still had no friends and only had her guitar for company. In fact, Bachi liked uploading her self-made music under the name of Guitar Hero. Since middle school, she had tried hard to make friends by showcasing her CD collection, band merchandise, or playing her music collection. Unfortunately, her efforts had yet to bear fruit. Meanwhile, as Bachi was looking through comments on her uploaded music, she got the idea to wear band attire to attract others who liked music. But her efforts still failed, even though someone was actually noticing her. After school, Bachi was seen sitting alone in the park. Feeling very sad, Bachi even considered dropping out of school, but suddenly, a girl with yellow hair named Najika appeared. At that moment, Najika saw Bachi carrying a guitar and greeted her. It turned out that Najika wanted to ask Bachi for help to fill a vacant slot in her band because their guitarist had suddenly disappeared. Before Bachi could answer, Najika pulled her along, making it difficult for Bachi to refuse the invitation. During their journey, Najika's personality was very different from Bachi's. Where Najika was a cheerful and positive band girl, while Bachi was an introverted girl with no friends, feeling lonely. Not long after, they arrived at the live house where Najika's band would perform. There was no one there yet as it was still midday, which made Bachi happy with the quiet atmosphere. After that, Bachi was introduced to another member, Ryo, who was the bassist. Once introductions were complete, Najika immediately handed over the arrangements of the songs they would perform. At that moment, they were still a small band without a dedicated vocalist, so Bachi had to add her vocals using her skills. During rehearsal, unfortunately, their guitar playing was not in sync. Although Bachi could play the notoriously difficult song by Dragon Force, it was useless if she couldn't match the band's rhythm. This caused Bachi to lose motivation, and the other band members found it difficult to cheer her up. They then took the initiative to change the topic to discussing guitar heroes. From that conversation, Bachi realized that her music videos could amaze people. As a result, she became motivated and tried to perform with them, even though she was still nervous. Recognizing this, Najika and Ryo suggested that Bachi hide inside a box while performing so she wouldn't feel nervous. After that, they heard a few encouraging words for Bachi, and eventually, the live performance by the band named Kesika Band began. During the performance, Bachi took her friend's advice to wear a box while performing. Initially, their performance was good, but towards the end, Bachi lost motivation again. However, this first experience made Bachi more optimistic about changing her introverted nature. The next day, Bachi was told to gather at the same place as yesterday, the live house story. However, upon arrival, Bachi didn't dare to go in alone and waited outside the door. Eventually, Najika and Ryo arrived, and they entered together. Once inside, they didn't know what to discuss and they ended up drawing topics, with the chosen topic was about school. Bachi, who attended a different school from Najika and Ryo, explained that she chose a school far from her home to keep her past a secret. But through their conversation, Bachi discovered that she had something in common with Ryo that they were both like to being alone. After that, they switched to talking about their favorite music, and then moved on to discussing their next live performance. They wanted to have a vocalist to add more color to their band's performance. Meanwhile, the live performances they did were not free, as they had to share the profits with the live house. If they didn't meet the target, they would have to pay the difference from their own pockets. Najika suggested getting part-time jobs to earn extra money in case they didn't meet the target during their live performances. Hearing that, Bachi was reminded of her trauma from a previous part-time job where she went viral on social media, which made her extremely nervous while working. However, Najika's suggestion for a part-time job was to work at Starry as a cashier. In the end, Bachi couldn't refuse and reluctantly accepted the suggestion, while Najika would be in charge of the finances. When she got home, 
Bachi was still afraid to work the next day, so she took an ice bath and slept with the fan on, hoping to catch a fever and avoid going to work. However, her efforts were in vain because the next morning, Bachi was still healthy. Before she could make an excuse not to come, Najika had already called to remind her to come to work, so Bachi was forced to go to Stari. Upon arriving at Stari, Bachi met a woman with a stern face, which frightened her. But it turned out that the woman was Najika's older sister named Seika, who was also the manager of Stari. That was why Najika invited Bachi to work at Stari, so she wouldn't be too tense working with someone she knew. After that, Najika explained how to make drinks, but Bachi had trouble understanding because Najika explained very quickly. Meanwhile, because Stari also functioned as a restaurant, Bachi was happy to work there. Shortly after, feeling that she was making progress by remembering Najika's instructions, Bachi became motivated. However, when customers arrived, Bachi became confused and couldn't do anything, refusing to look at the customers. Najika then came and helped her. After that, Najika informed her that when a band performs, they could take a short break. Meanwhile, Ryo was seen coming to Stari after being instructed to watch the band that would be performing and learn how they play, as the band performing was quite famous. Seeing this, Bachi also learned a lesson and decided not to waste the customer's money with her poor performance, so she resolved to improve herself little by little. Not long after, Bachi seemed to be doing better, as she had started to look at customers, although she was still a bit nervous. On her way home, Bachi felt very happy because the job wasn't as difficult as she had imagined. Additionally, Bachi had begun to get close to her band members, and their band decided to look for a new vocalist. The next day, the effects of the ice bath and sleeping with the fan on finally hit, causing Bachi to develop a fever. Fortunately, by Monday, Bachi had recovered from her fever and was able to attend school. Though initially reluctant, Bachi, now a part of a band and with a part-time job, felt enthusiastic because she was breaking free from her introverted life. One day in class, when the topic of bands came up, Bachi intended to join the conversation, but she became nervous again and ended up alone once more. After that, Bachi ate lunch by herself, imagining that when she became successful, she would share her story of being an introvert and becoming famous. At the same time, Bachi overheard other students talking about someone who was great at singing. However, when she saw that the person was an extrovert, Bachi gave up immediately. But for now, she decided to follow the person. While following her, Bachi was caught and didn't know what to do. The extroverted student, named Akuyo, directly asked Bachi what she was doing. This made Bachi run away immediately. Bachi, who had trouble communicating with others, found it difficult to talk to Akuyo, who was an extrovert. Eventually, Bachi invited Akuyo to join Kesika Band, but she quickly declined, saying she couldn't play any instruments and felt guilty for having run away from her previous band. However, Ikuyo was genuinely interested in music, especially after seeing how good Bachi was at playing the guitar. Therefore, Ikuyo wanted to learn from her, and Bachi couldn't refuse her request. After school, Bachi invited Ikuyo to Stari. However, Ikuyo panicked upon hearing the name because the band she had left before was Kesika Band. When meeting Najika and Ryo, Ikuyo immediately apologized to them, explaining that she had run away from the band because she had claimed to be good at playing the guitar when she actually couldn't play any instruments. After disappearing, everyone was worried about Akuyo's condition and whereabouts. But because of that incident, Kesika Band gained a skilled guitarist like Bachi. Meanwhile, to make up for her mistake, Ikuyo was asked to help at Stari by cleaning the studio. With her open nature, Ikuyo quickly blended in with everyone, unlike Bachi. However, Bachi still had a chance to prove herself by teaching Akuyo how to make drinks. After all the preparations were done, Stari opened, and the Kesika band immediately started chatting. Ikuyo mentioned that she was a fan of Ryo, which made her interested in music, while Bachi was happy because she found a new friend who shared the same hobby. Then, Ikuyo revealed that she actually wanted to rejoin Kesika band, but she felt unworthy because she had left them before and decided not to rejoin. Before Ikuyo left, Bachi ran to her but ended up falling. Despite Akuyo not wanting to rejoin Kesika Band, Bachi quickly told her not to lie to herself because she realized that Akuyo had been secretly practicing the guitar after seeing her hands were scratched. This also made the others agree that they wanted Akuyo to rejoin Kesika Band, and they gained a new member. Not long after, feeling that her job was done, Bachi said she was going home. 
However, the other members held her back because they decided to continue practicing. A few days later, Ikuyo felt frustrated because, despite practicing and spending her money, she still wasn't good at playing the guitar. Seeing Ikuyo who was still new to learning the guitar reminded Bachi of her own learning days. After that, the other members kept encouraging and motivating Ikuyo to practice harder. Over time, she showed progress in playing the guitar. However, she needed to get serious because soon Ikuyo would be playing the guitar while singing, and Bachi continued to cheer her on. Not long after, Kesika Band had another meeting to discuss non-musical aspects that could make their band more interesting. One of the topics was making merchandise, and Ikuyo volunteered to manage their social media. Bachi was asked to write song lyrics, and she couldn't refuse. Even when she was praised, Bachi could only laugh awkwardly. A week later, Bachi was seen practicing her autograph, but still couldn't write suitable song lyrics. Then she took out her old middle school lyrics book and imagined being an extrovert to create lyrics that would fit the band's vocalist. But after thinking hard, instead of sounding like an extrovert, she ended up sounding strange. Eventually, Bachi just wrote down whatever came to her mind. While she was busy writing lyrics, Bachi was contacted to gather, which startled her because she hadn't finished writing the song lyrics. However, it turned out the purpose of their gathering wasn't to discuss song lyrics, but to take promotional photos for Kesika Band because in their previous band photo, Bachi wasn't included. After searching for a good photo spot, Bachi found a great place for photos. But out of all the photos taken, only Akuyo had a good expression because she was very active on Instagram. Hearing this made Bachi lose motivation again because she only had school ID photos. In the end, they all agreed to use a photo of them jumping together for the promotional photo. After that, they decided to practice hard so they could perform in bigger venues, but first, they needed to have a song. Hearing this, Bachi felt even more demotivated due to the increasing pressure. As a result, Bachi contacted Ryo to consult about the lyrics, and they met at a newly opened cafe. When she arrived, Bachi entered the cafe feeling confused as she had never visited a place like that before. After meeting with Ryo, the atmosphere became awkward because Ryo was quiet and Bachi was not used to starting conversations. Eventually, Bachi gathered the courage to show the lyrics she had written to Ryo. After reading the lyrics, Ryo shared a story about her previous band, where she initially felt happy, but once money became involved, the band's originality was lost, and Ryo no longer felt aligned with it. Eventually, Najika invited her to join a new band, which persuaded her to get involved with the band again. Therefore, Ryo didn't want Bachi to write lyrics that didn't reflect herself because she wanted the song lyrics to represent the writer. Kesika Band is a band that combines various styles to create a masterpiece. Hearing this, Bachi got an idea how to write lyrics suitable for their song. A few days later, Bachi showed the lyrics she had written to all the members of Kesika Band. Even though the lyrics had a dark tone, it was what Ryo wanted, and now they just needed to print their promotional photo. Not long after, Bachi received her first paycheck, the result of her hard work, and she was confused about what to do with the money. But suddenly, Bachi remembered her initial reason for working there was to cover any shortfalls if their live music didn't meet the target. Bachi instantly lost motivation after realizing that being in a band is an expensive hobby as everything requires a significant amount of money. However, instead of dwelling on that, she decided to listen to the song that Ryo created from the lyrics she wrote earlier. Everyone liked the song, which earned Bachi some praise. Now, they just needed to get Seika's permission to perform next week. Meanwhile, Seika seemed reluctant to let Kesika Band perform, citing that their skills were still lacking. Najika didn't accept her sister's criticism and her friends comforted her first. At the same time, Seika called Bachi over and told her that they needed to audition first, and if they passed, they would be allowed to perform at Starry. The next day, Bachi, Ryo, and Akuyo practiced again in a secluded place to avoid being seen. They were still unsure how to improve their band's performance and tried out new routines, but there was no significant progress. The days passed, but they still didn't know how to enhance their performance. The day before the audition, Najika approached Bachi to ask if she felt forced to join Kesika Band, as she hadn't been asked why she played the guitar. At that moment, Bachi honestly admitted that she initially felt compelled, but now she was happy to be a part of Kesika Band. Hearing this, Najika was satisfied and left. Finally, the audition day arrived. Bachi's previous motivation was to become a famous introvert, 
but now she wanted Kesika Band to become famous. During the performance, Bachi focused on not messing up the audition to help her friends achieve their dreams. However, it seemed that Seika's expression didn't reflect enthusiasm about their performance. There were still many areas to improve, but they eventually passed and were allowed to perform. Knowing this, the members of Kesika Band were delighted that their hard work had paid off. Meanwhile, Seika recognized Bachi's incredible skill, but it was overshadowed by her introverted nature, and she realized they just needed to find a way to make her more confident in front of the public. Actually, the audition was just a formality because Seika didn't want Najika to receive special treatment. Additionally, Seika wanted Kesika Band to grow, and this might be the first step for Kesika Band. However, she also reminded them that they needed to sell their concert tickets to meet the target. At home, Bachi seemed confused about how to sell her concert tickets. Seeing this, Bachi's mother offered to help sell the tickets. However, she declined because she wanted to make the effort on her own, even going so far as to create her own flyers to attract buyers. Not long after, Bachi received a message from the others showing that their tickets were sold out. Seeing this, Bachi lost motivation and even thought she might be kicked out of the group for failing to sell tickets. Meanwhile, before she could reply to the group chat, Bachi met a woman named Kikuri who asked for her help. As Bachi was about to leave after helping her, she didn't dare to say goodbye, especially with Kikuri being drunk. When there was a chance to escape, Bachi was caught because of her guitar, as Kikuri also had a hobby of playing music. At that moment, Kikuri encouraged Bachi not to give up and started talking about how playing the guitar was more important to her than anything else. At the same time, the other members of Kesaku were worried about Bachi because she hadn't replied to their messages. Meanwhile, Kikuri began playing her bass and continued talking, so Bachi had to listen to all her stories. Kikuri then explained that she liked to drink to relieve the pressures of adulthood. Hearing this, Bachi understood what it felt like to be under a lot of pressure and thought about how she sometimes felt like a burden to her family. Kikuri then shared that she understood the struggles of starting a band, which Bachi was experiencing. As they were chatting, Kikuri suddenly decided to start a live street performance, which forced Bachi to join her. Bachi had never done this before, so Kikuri suggested closing her eyes if she lacked confidence because the enemy of musicians is not the audience but fear. Finally, Bachi gathered the courage to perform together in the street. As Bachi's confidence began to waver, a member of the audience cheered her on, which helped her overcome her nervousness and gave her the courage to open her eyes. At that moment, Bachi's true guitar skills shone, impressing everyone who watched. At that moment, Kikuri immediately realized that Bachi was destined to be an extraordinary guitarist, even though she only opened one eye. Thanks to this, Bachi found new fans willing to buy her tickets. While cleaning up, Bachi remembered that she still had one ticket left, but Kikuri bought it right away. Before going home, Bachi apologized to the group chat of Kesika member for missing practice and announced that she had successfully sold all her tickets. The next day, Kesika band planned to gather at Bachi's house to design their performance outfits. Unfortunately, Ryo couldn't attend because a relative was sick. When they arrived at her house, they were surprised to see a banner welcoming the Kesika band members, and upon entering, they were greeted by Bachi who was ready for a party. Not only that, but they were also astonished when they entered her room, which was already set up with disco lights. Meanwhile, Bachi's younger sister, Futari, introduced herself and quickly became friendly with Bachi's friends. Not wanting her friends to be taken away by Futari, Bachi told her sister to leave and not disturb them. After that, they continued designing their live performance outfits. When they saw the design made by Akuyo, it reminded Bachi of her old trauma about a sports festival where she was forced to be surrounded by a group of paranormal enthusiasts because if she didn't join them, she would be made a sacrifice. Meanwhile, Bachi's parents, who had just returned home, were informed by Futari that Bachi had brought friends over. Hearing this, both parents were surprised and delighted that their daughter finally had friends. As a result, Najika and Akuyo were invited to have a meal together to celebrate Bachi having friends. At that moment, Bachi's father asked Najika and Akuyo again to confirm whether his daughter really had friends. In the afternoon, they continued designing their outfits, and Ryo suddenly sent a message saying that she had finished designing her outfit, which had a food theme. Not only Ryo, but Bachi also showed her design, which looked tacky, and they were still busy designing suitable outfits. 
A few days later, their outfits were ready, but the problems weren't over, as they received news that there would be a big storm on the day of their performance. Hearing this, they felt sad because they had prepared so well, but it seemed all would be in vain as people they had invited might not be able to attend due to the storm. Instead of sulking, they chose to stay positive and accept the situation. Soon after, Kakuri arrived, revealing that she was Seika's junior in college. After that, Bachi's new fan also showed up, despite getting soaked in the rain. Although the turnout wasn't as high as expected, Kesika band still performed with all their might. However, due to the small audience, they lacked enthusiasm, and their rhythm became irregular, leaving no one enjoying their performance. But Bachi didn't want it to end like that, so she did a guitar solo in the next song to showcase her talent. Immediately, the others joined in with their maximum effort, and everyone was amazed at the drastic difference from the previous song, making the audience not regret coming despite the rain. Once the performance was over, the starry staff, along with Kakuri, held a party to celebrate Kesika Band's success. It turned out that Kakuri was a well-known figure, famous as a bassist who often vomited on the audience because she was always drunk. Meanwhile, they praised Kesika Band, especially Bachi's incredible performance, and continued to enjoy a meal together in a cozy atmosphere. At the same time, as Bachi looked across the table, she saw two men who were drunk. She suddenly imagined a bleak future for herself and feared becoming a burden to her family. After that, Bachi fell into deep thought again, but her friends, who were already used to her behavior, tried to cheer her up. Even Kikuri suggested that Bachi shouldn't worry too much about life and should just enjoy what she has. Meanwhile, Najika was outside, enjoying the cool night breeze. There, Najika suddenly asked Bachi if she saw herself as a guitar hero. Hearing this, Bachi couldn't hide it anymore and apologized for keeping it a secret because she still wasn't ready to open up to the others. Actually, Najika wasn't angry because she herself hadn't shared her reason for forming the band. She then revealed that she admired Seika when she was in a band, but she quit her activities as a band member and created the live house for Najika. That's why Najika formed a band to make Starry more famous. After that, Najika expressed her gratitude for having a member like Bachi, who always saved the band in critical moments like a hero. Hearing this boosted Bachi's motivation again, and she wanted to make Kesaku band famous and profitable. After that, Najika was convinced that Bachi the Rock could help them achieve their dreams. After their successful concert, Bachi, who was now on school break, decided to spend her holidays playing the guitar all day. Although Bachi wanted to spend time with her bandmates, she had to muster the courage to invite them first. In the end, Bachi could only wait and hope that the others would invite her. On the other hand, Ikuyo actually wanted to invite her, but Bachi wouldn't dare to speak if there were strangers around. Meanwhile, Najika was busy cleaning up the live house during the break, and Ryo spent her holidays watching movies. In the end, they agreed to invite Bachi to go on a trip to the beach. At that moment, they did activities like sightseeing, eating, and taking pictures together, which made Bachi experience a different kind of summer for the first time. After that, Ikuyo suggested they go to a good photo spot, but there were many stairs. At that place, Ikuyo insisted on seeing the beautiful view from the top, but they couldn't use the escalator because it required payment, so they had to climb the stairs. Upon reaching the top, the view was indeed beautiful, and to conclude their holiday, they all went to a shrine to pray for Kesika Band's continued improvement. On the way home, Bachi thanked her friends, and because of them, Bachi felt ready to welcome the new semester with enthusiasm. On the morning of her return to school, Bachi woke up after dreaming of becoming a famous musician of the century. Upon arriving at school, Bachi immediately lost her motivation upon learning that her class would be making a made cafe for the school festival. At that moment, the student council president announced that students could propose performances if they wanted to showcase something. Hearing this, Bachi instantly regained her enthusiasm and immediately signed up Kesika Band. She even filled out the form completely without realizing it. But then, in her panic, she hit herself and fainted. In the school clinic, Bachi regained consciousness and found herself with Ikuyo. At that moment, Bachi panicked and was confused about how to tell Ikuyo about their band's participation in the school festival, so she pretended to fall asleep to avoid being questioned by Ikuyo. The next day, Bachi was seen throwing away her registration form. Shortly after, at the studio, Seika was also there and asked Bachi about the problem she was facing, and coincidentally, 
Ryo, and Najika had already arrived. Finally, Bachi explained everything, and they all immediately agreed with her idea to perform at the school festival. The next day at school, Ikuyo approached Bachi and shared the news that Kesika Band would be performing at the school festival. Bachi panicked because Ikuyo didn't know that the form had been intentionally discarded. In the studio, Bachi and her friends were increasingly confused about the situation. Soon after, Kakori came and saw her juniors looking stressed, so she gave Bachi and her friends tickets to her band's live show. In the evening, the members of Kesika Band went to Kakori's band's live show, and it turned out that Kakori's band was indeed famous and had a large audience. When the live show started, Bachi was immediately amazed by Kikuri's impressive performance and instantly doubted if she could perform as coolly as her. After the show, Kikuri shared that she used to be like Bachi, an introvert. Hearing this, Bachi became more confident and invited Kikuri to watch her performance later. After returning from Kikuri's band's live show, Kesaku Band held a meeting to decide on the song they would perform at the school festival. Ryo immediately had the idea to have Bachi perform a guitar solo during the second song so that she and Akuyo could become more well-known, especially since it was at their school. On the way home, it seemed that Akuyo was still thinking about what happened earlier that day because she immediately apologized to Bachi for submitting the form. But Bachi actually thanked her because, thanks to her, she had a chance to become famous. Hearing this, Akuyo was touched and promised to make their performance a success. After that, to help Bachi focus, Ikuyo asked Ryo for extra practice. A few days later, Bachi's school festival began, and Najika and Ryo went straight to Bachi's classroom, but she wasn't there, so they had to look for her. After not finding Bachi in her favorite spots, Ikuyo mentioned that Bachi liked quiet, damp, and gloomy places. Sure enough, they found her near the trash disposal area. After finding Bachi, they took a walk around the festival to boost her confidence. Eventually, it was time for Bachi to serve as a maid at the school festival, but she was still serving customers with a worried expression. However, with her friend's encouragement, Bachi managed to fulfill her role at the school festival as a maid. Before leaving, they checked out the performance venue and hoped that many people would come to Bachi's first school performance the next day. At the studio, they began practicing for their performance the next day, but Bachi was surprised by how quickly Akuyo's skills had improved. However, she didn't dwell on it too much, as long as the next day's performance went smoothly. The next day, the time came for Kesika Band to perform at the school festival. Where Bachi needed to perform as positively as possible because if a music producer attended, they could get recruited and become a big band. Like many people before a performance, they chanted their cheer to ease their nerves. After a few encouraging words from Ikuyo, Kesiku Band's performance began. Their first song was performed so well that everyone there was entertained and impressed. However, oddly enough, Bachi seemed less enthusiastic and more demotivated than usual. It turned out that there was something wrong with her guitar, which was a problem because she had to do a guitar solo in the second song. At the same time, Kakuri noticed this issue, but the show had to go on, and they couldn't keep the audience waiting. Not long after the song started, Bachi's guitar string broke, making it impossible for her to do the guitar solo. Bachi panicked, fearing she would ruin the performance. Fortunately, Ikuyo had practiced and was able to handle the problem, allowing Bachi to get creative and use a bottle that Kikuri had used for her guitar solo. Seeing this, the entire audience was amazed by her unique guitar playing, which was something she had always dreamed of. Filled with confidence, Bachi jumped into the audience. Unfortunately, no one caught her, and she fell and fainted. When Bachi regained consciousness, Ikuyo was there to keep her company, while the other friends were waiting outside to celebrate after the performance. At that moment, Bachi realized that Ikuyo had played better than usual during the performance and Ikuyo confessed that she had been secretly practicing because she felt she didn't have the musical skills her friends had. Ikuyo wanted to keep learning so she could support the other members. After that, the school festival ended. Upon returning home, Bachi immediately apologized to her father for breaking her guitar. However, her father didn't mind and promised to buy her a new guitar because he was proud of his daughter's musical talent. The next day, since she had enough money, Bachi decided to quit her job at Starry. She felt excited about not having to serve customers anymore, but her friends regretted her decision. In the afternoon, her friends took Bachi to a music store. However, even before entering, Bachi lost her enthusiasm. 
fearing the shopkeeper might be intimidating. Meanwhile, Ryo did an impromptu solo while trying out instruments, and they enjoyed her guitar and bass playing. Eventually, Bachi found a guitar she liked, but since she was too shy to talk to the shopkeeper, Ikuyo had to step in as a spokesperson and buy the guitar for her. At that moment, the shopkeeper hoped that Bachi would take good care of the guitar. The anime then concluded. Moral lesson from the story, if you want friends, maybe carrying a guitar everywhere and pretend you live in a box might be a solution. Because people will think you're so interesting they might actually talk to you.